Canna Jahiri, New York's Otto Sitterly looked to get back into victory lane as one of his goals for the 2018 racing season. First step towards this goal was to hand off the weekly preparation of the Team Nakotra number two and instead focus on the number seven team. Opening day saw new colors on board the Team Nakotra number seven, along with a refined confidence in what the Hawk chassis was capable of. Both Team Nakotra rides would show their strength early by capturing the respective qualifying heat wins to open the night. The first of the twin 50 lap features saw Sitterly gain an early advantage out front until surrendering the lead to an even faster Schulich. Otto would ride it out for the remainder of the event, claiming fourth spot at the checkers. The second feature saw Sitterly once again make the charge to the front to garner a podium spot. The closing laps saw Otto try to run down the leader, but a hungry Chris Purley would hang on to win his first ever non-winged super feature. The A&P Auto Parts night found some early excitement for the number seven crew, when Sitterly and the 52 of Dave Danzer had a late race run-in in in their qualifying heat race. Danzer would roar back up to Sitterly on the cool-down lap to express his feelings about the incident. Come feature time on June 9th, the Team Nakotra cars would follow each other nose to tail on the march to the front. The race would boil down to a late race dash on the restart that saw Schulich edge out teammate Sitterly for the victory. Twin 35s were on the card for that night, and Otto hoped the shorter distance might be the event for his car's liking. As the sun went down during the first feature event, Schulich would once again get the edge on Sitterly in the early laps and claim the lead. Early season drama would soon be to follow when the Team Nakotra teammates would make contact in turn three and four and bring out the yellow. Schulich would sustain some damage and made sure to show his disgust under the yellow flag when he pulled up next to Sitterly to express his feelings. As a result of the contact under green and under yellow, both drivers were informed they would line up tail on the ensuing restart. Sitterly was able to drive back through the field and grab an eighth place finish in twin number one. The second twin 35 of the night saw the number seven of Sitterly storm to the front of the field, and by lap five, he was sitting in a nice third place. Sitterly would run Len level off for the rest of the race and remain in the third position for the next 35 laps. The final June event of the season saw both Team Nakotra teammates virtually glued together during the feature event as they marched towards the top three. When July 7th rolled around, Otto and the number seven team began to wonder if they once again could find their winning magic. The night started off with the typical dominating heat race victory, and when the green flag dropped for the feature, Otto knew he would need to stay ahead of the number two of Schulich and make his way to the front. The Hawk chassis was really hooked up on the outside this night, and that evidence came when Otto passed four cars in just a single lap. Sitterly then set his sights on leader Bellinger and fought for many laps to find the way by. A few laps later, a caution for the zero would negate the huge lead that Sitterly had established. The restart saw the number two of Schulich right on the bumper of the number seven. The duo would battle it out for the remainder of the feature, but it was Otto Sitterly who was able to persevere and finally return to Oswego Speedway's victory lane for the first time since September of 2015. Elation for the entire team in victory lane, and the fans also applauded the return of the number seven to winner circle. With the winless drought now behind them, the number seven Nakotra racing team felt a sense of relief heading into the final two months of the season. July 14th's feature event started off with Otto back in the 12th spot and would have a long road home to make it back-to-back -back wins. Otto would also need a chance to chase Team Schulich down if he expected victory on that night. Methodically working the car after car, Sitterly made it to the top five and found getting around the 55 of Champagne especially tough. As the two battled into turn three, Sitterly saw an opening, but the two made contact sending out hard into the outside wall. Otto, obviously not happy with the circumstances, made to show his dissatisfaction to Champagne as he rolled by. With just a week to prepare the number seven Hawk chassis back to its winning form, Sitterly and the crew would have a long week to get ready for the following Saturday. The number seven hit the track like a rocket, starting dead last in his qualifying heat race, making a three wide pass on the start, and later a two for one pass to assume the lead. The same speed was to show at the start of the 10,000 to win Mr. Super Modified feature. Otto would pick off cars very easily at the start, and within the first few laps, Sitterly found the race leader. Nobody had anything for the number seven on this night, and Otto would go unchallenged for the remainder of the 75 laps to claim the $10,000 payday. 
August 4th's Retro Night found the familiar number 7 transformed into the gray number 39 in tribute to Freddie Graves, who recently passed away. The Retro Night 45 saw the inseparable Team Nakotra teammates duke it out on the racetrack on their way to the front. Some of the wildest passes of the year between the familiar retro paint schemes of the Champagne 8 Ball and the 39 of Sitterly. The final lap saw heavy traffic in front of the leaders, and Sitterly made a move that still has fans talking today and cannot believe that racing witnessed on Retro Night. Sitterly would enter the August 11th night with a solid points lead and did not waste any time marching toward the front when the green flag waved from his 10th place starting spot. A new face and new colors back to the Oswego Speedway for number three of Doug Didero, and Otto Sitterly would have a new dancing partner for much of the night. Coming into the final lap, Otto would make a bold move on the outside, but when the tandem car came off turn number four, Otto mashed the gas and beat Didero to the line in a photo finish. Sitterly was not able to be denied and grabbed his third victory of the year. Otto Sitterly has been shut out from capturing his eighth Novella Supermodified Championship since last hoisting the trophy back in 2014. Sitterly came prepared on championship night, having two equally prepared Hawk chassis at his disposal. Otto stuck with his familiar number seven chassis as the green flag dropped and pretty much had a wrap on the championship by taking the green. With some of the pressure off, Otto did not hold back at the start, going three wide as he drove around the competition. Sitterly seemed to make every pass with ease, passing Joe Gozik for third place and then caught the 0-2 of Bellinger. While it took a few laps to size up Bellinger, Sitterly soon made the move to take over the lead and began to pull away. Points contenders had no chance of making up ground on the points leader on this night as Otto dominated the field to pick up his third win of the season. Otto came around to celebrate his eighth Novella Super Bonified Championship at Oswego Speedway with a Polish victory lap celebration. With seven heat race wins, 10 top fives, 11 top tens, with only a single DNF on his road to the championship, congratulations go to the driver of the number seven, Black Betty Nakotra Racing, Hawk Chassis, Otto Sitterly.